To get the most out of your calligraphic brushes and the pressure sensitivity settings in Illustrator, you'll definitely want to make adjustments to the Wacom software that runs your tablet. In my case, I have both a Wacom Intuos 4 tablet and a Wacom Bamboo. Both of these tablets have a setting for tip feel that you can adjust by locating the Wacom software on your system. In my case, I'm on a Mac and I'll just go to the Apple menu, choose System Preferences, and click on the icon for the tablet I currently have connected, in this case the Bamboo. On a PC, the Wacom directions specify that you will click on the Windows Start button and choose All Programs, then select Bamboo or whichever tablet you have, and then choose the Bamboo Properties option. Either way, you should now have the control panel for the tablet visible, and here you'll see the setting for tip feel. It's in the pen menu, and this setting is virtually the same for either the Bamboo or the Intuos, and this is the setting we're focusing on in this lesson, so I'm going to hop back over to my Intuos tablet, and you can follow along with whatever tablet you have. And on this slider, we have a range from soft to firm, and I usually have mine set to the tick mark just to the right of the center, just a little on the firm side, or maybe even a little firmer than that, and that's because I just naturally tend to press hard when I draw, whether I'm drawing with a pen and paper or on the computer. And I'll just leave this setting as is for a while, but then I may start work on a new piece of art with a different brush, and I'll decide I need to come back and make adjustments. And so I like to leave this control panel for the tablet software open while I'm working with calligraphic brushes in Illustrator. That way I can click in the Illustrator window to test out the settings and then use my Mac keyboard shortcut for cycling through my open programs and that's Command Tab. And on a PC the shortcut is Alt Tab. So once I've opened the control panel and then jumped back to Illustrator once, from there on, I can just hit Command and the Tab key and adjust the Wacom settings and then go back to Illustrator to test it out. So it's an easy way to go back and forth, just adjusting and testing. And in Illustrator, I've drawn a diagram using the paintbrush and a calligraphic brush tip to help illustrate the tip feel setting. It might be helpful to think of it like this. You have soft on one side, Picture a real-world brush that's full of paint and almost to the point of dripping. And it would take almost no pressure for you to create a line with that. And on the right, you have firm. And for this, you can picture a very fine, almost dry marker, where you'd have to really press hard to make a clear, dark stroke. And so this is a way to decide how you want your tablet to behave with your pressure-sensitive brushes in Illustrator. Do you want a fully loaded, soft brush or a hard marker? And you'll probably want something in between. A lot depends on the way you usually handle your art materials, whether you press hard or you have a light touch. And it also depends on how much variation from thick to thin lines that you want to get from the particular brush you're using in the particular drawing you're working on. A soft feel like that fully loaded brush means you won't have to press hard, but it will give you less variation. So hopping over to the control panel, I'll move the setting down one notch below the center mark, and then I'll test this out in Illustrator. And it's harder to make a wisp of a stroke with a fully loaded brush, so a softer setting can really take something away from that nice variation we set up in the last lesson. I'll just click on that brush again to refresh your memory. So this is that eight point brush with eight points of variation. But even when I draw with the lightest pressure, it's not a fine disappearing line as I would like, but I can press hard and it's not difficult at all to get up to that thickest stroke, that 16 point stroke we talked about. And up here at the top I've put some uniform strokes, there's 8 points and 1 point, just to help us gauge the thickness as I'm drawing here. So it's easy to get that 16 point stroke without pressing too hard when you have that setting just to the left of the center. Okay, and on the flip side, a firmer setting will allow for finer variation than a soft setting. So I'll go back to the Wacom control panel, that's Command Tab, and now I'll move this setting up to one notch above the center. 
And now in Illustrator, you can see with my lightest pressure, I can get a wispy line here that gets nice and thick as I press harder. But up at my eight point standard here, I'm pressing almost as hard as I can, and I'm not getting much more thickness than this eight points. And I'm nowhere near this 16 point stroke here I drew with the softer setting. And so you can go back and forth between Illustrator and the tablet software to test it out and find what works for you. But if you really want a very fine stroke from this eight point brush, you'll probably need to raise the firmness of the pen feel even more. So play around with your settings using the eight point brush from the last lesson. And then meet me in the next lesson where we'll take another look at the settings for creating calligraphic brushes.